Hey everybody, uh, in this video I'm going to demonstrate uh, how to cut one of these round body uh, uh, padlocks off of uh, off of my shed actually, but this is something that you might have on the storage locker. And if you lose the key, it's pricey to get somebody out to get them off. The storage places don't generally do it. Um, so what you're going to do is, uh, you can do the angle grinder is the second best way to get these off. Uh, first best way is of course a key. And um, you know the angle grinder cuts these things like butter and it's, it's real easy. Uh, drum a little bit, a little bit harder but very doable. So how these work, they're usually locked on like this. I think it's because people are right-handed, so they end up, um, you know, locked on basically uh, this way. And so you, what, what it is, is you got your shackle like this on the inside, and it's not really exposed to your cutting because you, know, you get your wall, which is right here in front of you. So when these unlock, you know, this just slides this way, and it slides this way. And when you're cutting them when they're on this side, it's hard to get to the shackle up here um, because there's, you, know, you just got a picture of a hasp in the way. You got to be careful not to nick their stuff. They charge a lot if you do. So you end up sometimes cutting through here. If you, if you catch the tip of the shackle or miss it, and you just you can cut here, cut here, do like a little bit of surgery, take pliers, peel it back until you can get to it. And sometimes you cut one piece of the shackle, cut the other, and pull a chunk of it out. Uh, they're on this way, it's a little easier, you get right to it, you, know, you can cut it in two places or you cut it far enough down and you can just actually get, uh, grab it and you can actually slide it or push it with a screwdriver and slide it. Mine is locked this way so it's going to be a little bit harder, uh, but key to it, um, you know, basically just take your time and you know, don't be shy in changing out blades. So all that said, I'll head outside and we'll get started. All right, everybody, uh, we're outside here. Here's our lock. Uh, it's just locked on my uh, shed here. And um, this right here is a uh, DeWalt angle grinder. And this is uh, the best tool for a job like this. This thing cuts through these things like butter and it's cordless, which is really nice because a lot of times the storage locker places do not have uh, power that's readily accessible. Uh, not everybody has one of these, but most people probably do have a Dremel or a rotary tool. Or it's also like a Walmart item that's easy to get. So here's the here's a this is a Radio Shack rotary tool, or it's basically you know, it's just a Dremel. Uh, this will work. Don't be shy on changing the wheels out when they wear out, because they will wear out doing this. And um, basically, what I'm going to be doing here is just trying to cut through this, uh, you know, the metal outside of this and through the shackle, and then uh, just kind of wrestle it off of here. So. Ideally, it would be good to have a camera person. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a camera person, so I'm going to do the best I can on filming this. All right, and safety glasses on, and here we go. And what you want to do from this point is be careful touching it as I'm telling you these things heat up when you're cutting them. You know, sometimes you gotta do a little bit of surgery on them too where you can actually, you know, you can cut the uh, metal to spread it out. So you can actually see what you got going on in there. And you know what, looking at this here, I actually cut too far back because of how this lock is on here in your typical storage locker, you're able to rotate it a little more than this here, but still might work. It's either way, same, same idea. I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take the Dremel and I'm going to actually do some little surgery on it here. The angle grinder is a lot easier. You can literally just slice right through these things with the angle grinder. But I'm going to try to cut this uh, side of this off. And if you're at a storage locker, you want to be careful because if you nick their stuff, they charge you for it. So what I did is I actually missed the shackle. 
didn't cut too far back so it's not going to come off that, that way so now that I can see it let's see if I can try to cut it right through here like this without hitting the door I've got a fresh wheel and should finish the job here. Alright, so now we're th through enough here that it should be able to just snap this thing off here. So there's a nice little chunk of it that uh, it's probably very hot. This is very hot. So now we've got here a chunk cut out of it. And um, just got to get this uh, metal out of the way here from the housing and it'll come right off. I really hoped this would go smoother since I'm trying to do it on video, but of course it, it didn't. But you know, things don't always go smooth. That also, I'm not using the right tool for the job either. That angle grinder is definitely the right tool. There we go. And this thing is still super hot, but anyway, that's kind of how you do it here. Um, you know go slow take your time and uh, <clears throat> yeah, the, the lock was locked on this way then you could have cut here and the shackle would slide out of the way but it's it was I locked it on that way like an idiot but you know sometimes they are gonna be locked on that way when you're actually doing this so uh, anyway just trying to show you how to do it with a Dremel um, it can be done with a Dremel and uh, I guess that's gonna uh, do it for this video and I uh, will talk to everybody later